The year of success. That's what I want 2019 to be. I'd really like to see a million subscribers on the other channel. We're almost halfway there. We had our YouTube advisor meeting last night. If you didn't know, if your channel is eligible, you can meet with a partner like one-on-one -on -one through a video chat where their job is to kind of analyze your content and figure out how to help you optimize grow, reach as many people as possible, meet your goals, all that good stuff. So last night, it seemed like the meeting was going about how they usually go, and then the advisor said, I, I want you to do something kind of different, might be kind of scary, but I, I need you guys to be open and be willing to yada yada. And I, I said, yeah, sure, I mean, that's, that's why we're here. What do you got for us? And she said, well, Power Rangers is a dead brand that nobody cares about. Nobody's searching for it, there's no potential for growth, it's not gonna go anywhere. So you've got to abandon Power Rangers. What else do you guys like? There was kind of like an awkward moment of silence while I think the two of us just sat there trying to figure out what to say as I think she was waiting for us to announce what our new channel was going to be. Mia eventually broke the silence and said, I, I don't have anything right now. She said, that's fine. For the next meeting, your assignment is write down three things that you, you know, yada yada, and we'll discuss next time. And Essentially, what, what's gonna be the new channel we'll figure out in our next meeting. Keeping in mind the next meeting is February. We've been meeting with her since October as a six month program. And she just told us now to, to ditch Power Rangers. Pretending that this wasn't terrible advice for a variety of reasons, some of which I'll go into. Why now? Why towards the end of this when our channel is actually slowly making progress because we've been back at it since October? Why tell us that now towards the end of the program when all this time we could have been developing something different if, if that was really the way to go? And then she had added, because if you're not willing to move away from Power Rangers, then there's there's nothing more I can do to help you. And, and that's it for the sessions. It's almost nine o'clock at night. I've been making this video since this morning. And this is, this is where I, I start. There's so many things to, and I wanna keep it short. What, what do I choose? Like, where do you go? I mean, well, for one thing, what about all the people that have supported us for, you know, one, two, three, five, seven, ten years? We've got some people that have been with us since Dino Charge, some since Megaforce, Samurai. Uh, some people remember our Power Morphicon promos in 2010. If we started all over again from scratch, totally new channel that wasn't a vlog channel or, or Power Rangers, what, what might that be exactly? And to tell us to just give up and quit and start something else new entirely, the very month before Hasbro releases Power Rangers Beast Morphers, it's a new company with a new season. This company just spent almost $600 million to acquire Power Rangers because they want to unlock the brand's full potential and go bigger with it. I don't know what that means yet. Might just be marketing talk. Maybe it'll be the same, same old, same old, we don't know. But if we've stuck around this long, like what? Who wouldn't wait another couple weeks to see the idea with the YouTube advisor was to help you grow your existing channel. Our channel is far from dead. Uh, I don't want anyone to think that our channel is dead. There have been some changes for sure. We're still doing okay over there. Don't, don't get us wrong. It's just a lot of things that affected our channel, they all happen at once. In the time that we've kind of been back and settled and, and going back to our old routine, we've seen growth. She should be able to see that on her end, looking at our analytics. She should be like, okay, you've been really home since October and you've really, or late September, whenever we got back, and you've been like really getting back into the old groove and hey, look, your channel looks, it's, it's going back up again, hey. Keep doing what you're doing. And this is meanwhile during the time where there's no show on TV, there's no toy line in the stores, there's not a lot of enthusiasm at the moment, and you're turning it around even without that, you know, just as Bruno and Mia. So, I mean, there, there's something to be said for that. I have so much more to say on the topic, I have to stop myself. There's, there's no good point to stop, because I'll just keep talking. But no, we're not gonna quit MMPR Toys. I'm gonna have to email her and tell her. Not in any way against diversifying, that's another conversation entirely and an idea we had years ago. Not gonna get into that now. Uh, not against it, totally for it, but all right, I'm gonna, I have to stop. All right, uh, what else have we been up to? Well, the other day we spent the entire day moving Power Ranger boxes from the garage into the house. Not all of them, of course, but we, we moved some of them. We've really poured the last 10 years of our lives into building that channel. And just look at all the stuff that I have specifically for that channel. I'm not sure what other channel could be a more perfect fit. MMPR Toys wasn't just some trend that I wanted to jump on. 
I didn't wake up one morning and say, hey, I think I'll make YouTube videos, what should I do? And, and pulled Power Rangers out of a hat. I mean, there's, there's a lot more to it than that. Ms. Max Emilios spent the entire day bringing boxes in from the garage. And I think we've only got 30 more of these large boxes of Power Rangers to bring in. That doesn't include the buckets. There's a lot of Power Rangers. Too many Power Rangers? Uh, <laughs> after seeing this many Power Rangers and moving so many boxes all day, I've realized which ones I'm missing. I need a few more bikes from Dino Thunder. I'm gonna go on heat back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm really not. I regret not getting the hovercraft cycle. I need the blue one. What, hon? What was that, Mia? Oh, I wouldn't say that this looks great, but you can see huge improvement. And this used to be a tower of boxes, and now you can actually walk around in here. There could still be 30 boxes of Power Rangers uh, left to take in. Uh. Uh. Ay, ay, ay. Huge improvement. Ay, ay, ay. Do a little bit more of these. Maybe I'll try to work one of the previous Jerry takes in. He has some good things to say. I see a Jerry on top of Box Mountain. Well, here's something that I know from work, and I know it applies to lots of different work. Sometimes things go wrong, and sometimes that's really bad, and it's like a catastrophe, and everyone's like, you need to fix this right now. And that's what you do. First of all, there's a fire. You put out the fire. That's the first thing you do. It might not be the best solution, but you figure out a way to do it fast. Like it might be inefficient, take too much time. It's not what you want to do long term. But first you put out the fire. Step two, you figure out the, what caused it, the root cause analysis, so that you understand everything that went into it so that you can fix it. And then that's step three. And to prevent it from happening again, hopefully. Yeah, step three, you take what you learned in step two and come up with a solution. Like you might want to consider multiple possible solutions and only through knowing what caused the problem in the first place do you figure out which of those possible solutions is the best one. So it sounds like the person who you spoke to skipped step two. <laughs> that, that was well said. And that's exactly right. Why would we start a brand new channel when we've already spent the last 10 years building something that isn't broken? It's, it just needs attention. And also that's not addressing the problems that we are having that are not on our end. I mean, the move is a huge thing. We spent nearly an entire year not keeping to our schedule and that's gonna hurt anybody. That was on our end and, and we're turning that around right now. There are some other things that if we started a whole new other channel, it's gonna be the same thing over there too. So it doesn't make sense. It, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna stop myself there, what else? Uh, well, we got our pressure cooker from Jerry's mom. Jerry has porked. That's a hungry Mia. She's such a hungry Mia. Uh, Jerry's mother sent a uh, porkifier which Jerry porked with. Uh-oh. And I was trying to eat. Probably because I was busy preparing food. No, it didn't explode. I was just finishing it up. I'm okay. <laughs> it's Mother Jerry. <laughs> I, I, I think Jerry's mom was trying to call Jerry while he was cooking, and he didn't hear the phone. And I think she thought the pressure cooker exploded or something, so she, <laughs> she was worrying. But everything was fine, and that was really good. So more, more pressure cooker for us. All right, and now it's almost midnight. I spent the entire day ranting about the YouTube advisor's advice, and the sole purpose of the YouTube advisor is to help us grow the channel, and I ignored that channel so I can complain about the terrible advice we were given over here. That's, like, totally <laughs> just funny. But, all right, I, I hope you guys wish us good spite success. I'm not that competitive of a person, but when somebody says that I can't do something, if it's something I think I can do, it's like, I'm gonna do it anyway, and it's just, it'll be nice when I do, because then I can do it out of spite, too. <laughs> if somebody says, no, you can't, my reply is typically, watch me. Unless it's something I know that I that I can't do, that I'm not good at, that I have no interest in doing, you know, I'm not gonna, I, I think that we can do this. It's, this is, some, it's, we have been doing it. I mean, we've been seeing steady growth. I'll tell you what I can't do. This is not one of those things, so I will continue. Um, and I'm gonna end here, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe out of spite if you haven't, and spite over to the other channel as well. I always be back soon with many good spiteful videos, and good night.